Hi, it's Handy Val. Most recently, over the last three months, my car has been experiencing poor fuel economy and a worsening rough idle. I found the culprit in the mass airflow sensor. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to clean your mass airflow sensor using a $10 spray can, even cheaper in some places. It's great preventive maintenance and ideally should be done every two or three years, even if you're not experiencing any problems because the maintenance is so simple and it's so cheap to do. Mass airflow sensor, it's on the tubing leading to your engine close to your intake air filter. Should be quite obvious to find. A malfunctioning mass airflow sensor or a very dirty mass airflow sensor will kick up a check engine light and show an OBD value of P0100 all the way to P0105. This is a sure sign you need to pay attention to it. Now my car is not showing the check engine light but it has the classic mass airflow sensor symptoms which are Poor fuel economy. Mine is 40% worse than usual. You know, I'm running at about 17 miles per gallon or 14 liters per 100 kilometers, which is pretty bad. And I'm having a slight worsening idle. And leaving it unattended will certainly lead to the check engine light coming on. Other symptoms include, you know, trouble accelerating, sometimes hard stopping and hesitation, but these would usually light up the check engine light. So let's get to cleaning it up. We'll be using CRC's mass airflow sensors. It's important that you only use a mass airflow sensor. And read the label, you know, if you own certain models of Toyota or Mitsubishi or even Lexus, it's not recommended. There's a, there's a certain cleaner for that. All right, so let's first get it out. So on these Fords, there's a little red clip there. You're gonna pop it and you're gonna wanna just take this white ring out. And there you go. Okay, now what you're going to notice, there's a couple of Phillips screws. There's two of them. You don't want to use your, use maybe a little stubby type screwdriver and get in there and remove. Now you want to be very careful here. They're not, I wouldn't say they're, they're on that tight, but you just want to be careful where you don't strip the screw. Two screws out, it's going to be very easy just to come out. Okay, and that is your mass airflow sensor and housing. And what you're going to be focusing in on here, okay, I'm going to show you, there's a couple of wires there. You see them there? So the airflow is kind of flowing through them, and that's what we're going to want to clean. So there's one, and there's another one in there. Okay, we're going to want to spray that with our spray cleaner. So let's do it. What you're going to want to do is obviously get the spray nozzle on the inside, but you don't want to touch anything, okay? You just want to be able to spray it, and following the instructions, it tells you to do about 10 to 15 sprays on and off so let's give it a, let's give it a few tries and you also want to make sure i mean this is going to evaporate quite quickly and i'm using a box here to catch the overspray and you want to make sure there's no there's not a lot of wind and you want to wear preventive eye goggles as well okay so let's give us let's give it a shot all right that'll be one let it drip do another one let that drip that's two Okay, and you're going to want to keep doing this until you get to about 15. Just on my last few sprays, and again, you want to surely get it, get it from all different angles if you can, okay? And this will be the last one, and we're just going to now, at this point, we're just going to leave it to dry. You certainly don't want to put this in the car while it's wet, and you certainly don't want to turn it on. This will evaporate quite quickly. Good to just leave this for about half an hour. Let it out there, leave it out here, and we'll come back to it. Okay, so I've actually waited a couple of hours here. Now there's only one way this thing could actually go, okay? And you, you know, won't be able to slide it in this way, okay? This shiny part obviously is above, so only one way. You're gonna slide that in there, and then you're gonna kind of tighten it up as best as you can. Now the other thing as well with this mass airflow sensor, it's it measures the air coming into the engine as well as the air temperature. So it actually serves as two purposes, measuring the airflow and air temperature. So it helps, so the computer helps dictate how much air and fuel should be burning inside the engine at a very high level. So again, again, I'm gonna tighten it up, both screws, make sure, can give it a little Squeeze, make sure it's you know it's properly set. And now you're gonna to want to put the plug back in. This is quite simple. There's only one way to put it. The only thing to remember, this little red clip here, 
has to then be pushed in. Over the coming weeks, I'll show how my miles per gallon and liters per 100 kilometers has changed. And I'll include those updates in the video description. Look out for those. If you enjoyed this video and learned from it, please like and subscribe to my HandyVal channel as I will be sharing more helpful tips in the near future. Thanks for watching HandyVal. Bye for now.